Hello Parishto, so let's see your assignment uh, for rendering of human face. Um, first let's talk about the drawing. I think you started off correct. So there is a sphere or an egg shape with cone in the bottom. Um, and then a cylindrical for the neck part. What happened was uh, the eye here is too big as compared to the model's eye. So that's why the total distance between two eyes, you can see the, the second eye is ending here. The first eye begins here. The distance between this and the point where the second eye starts is almost one eye, almost of this distance. Whereas when I see yours, this distance is very less. Secondly, I think the overall the eye is too big. The shape of the eyebrow, it's not touching. It's actually, if you draw a line from the end point of the eyebrow, it's actually touching the eyelid. So this should move up. Uh, hair, the movement of hair, fine, that's okay. Um, the nose, the, the angle of the nose, this line. This. Okay, so. This line here, this, you can check the angle, um, I think it's not correct, you need to make changes accordingly, it's, it's very, it's going very uh, angular, like if I draw a perpendicular line here, so if I draw a perpendicular line here, and measure this angle and for example supposingly this is 90 degrees so the eye the nose is at a 45 degree so you need to repeat similar process here uh, on your drawing so when you just draw a perpendicular then draw a straight line and then mark the 45 degree you can see there is a ball here uh, on the nose. This is the tip of the nose that you need to emphasize on. Let's see where the tip of the nose is. So I'm talking about the circle here, this circle, right? So that is kind of missing. And the shadow shape is okay. It's just that the nose is not white. You can see it has value. It has a gray value coming from the, uh, from the left side from the bottom and this plane so this value coming up is very important the lips are fine it's working again the shadow shape of the cheek so i don't see i see that you did you did try you know to make it work but like this light area I don't see any light area here here the value this got very dark and this got very light you can see the beautiful transition of a of middle value middle gray to lighter gray and then the highlight is only around this portion so these are small points that you need to be um, you need to take care when you do portrait assignment whenever we do anything which is realistic drawing is the most important part so it doesn't matter if you add even if you add gold on it if the drawing is not correct the portrait will never look correct so I would suggest slow down measure each and every part 
think about the distance between the eye, think about the angle of the nose, think where the eyebrow is starting, ending. So here you can see your eyebrow ended before the eye, right? But here the eyebrow is even, like the eye sits between both the eyebrows. So these are small differences, basic drawing processes that you need to follow. And uh, if you like, you can submit the assignment again.